right, so today we are going to install something pretty, pretty cool. It's called the Slip Low Universal Skid Plate. So what is so cool about it is that, oh yeah, inside here you have the adhesive, the adhesive uh, promoter that you're going to use under your lip. But check this out, you guys. So you stick it under like that, like so, after you prep your lip with some... Um, after you prep your lip, and we'll see how it goes. So right now, we're about to clean the lip with some alcohol, get rid of the oils and residues, make sure it's a nice clean slate. And then I'm gonna finish the rest of the lip and move on to the next one. So from driving and getting out of uh, in of the driveways, as you can see, I have some scratches underneath my lip here. But with the slip low, it's not gonna happen. So before you apply the slip skin plate on, um, it is very important to really prep your lip so you make sure that it actually adheres to it completely. So since the lip is already dried from the uh, from wiping the alcohol, I'm gonna apply the adhesion promoter. So it's gonna help stick this on once I peel the sticker off. So I'm gonna mark off the center of my plate. Since I found the middle of my lip, I'm just gonna peel back. I'm just going to use this end part right here to just indicate where the center of my lip is still. And like that. And so, the middle of this tape, I'm just going to mark it like that. So here I am just marking my slip roll skid plate where I need to cut because there's a lot of play underneath my lip where I want to install it. I want to put it just like right here, but if you look at the part where there's extra and it's hanging, that's where, that's where you don't want it. So I'm trimming it so that way there's no play and it can actually adhere to it completely. So I'm covered. Oh, these things are tough. You can see here, um, my lip, it, it curves a little. So what I need to do is, I need to trim this part, but then once you get to the end of my lip, it actually flattens out, so it'll be much easier for me to install it. So I am retracing a few more skip plates so I can get the sim trim. Pulling it back a little so I can give myself some space to trace it over. So I trimmed my skid plate and then I've also cut two pieces right here because I need it to extend all the way out. So as you can see, I need a long one right there. And then it kind of curves down so that way this part is flat and I don't need to really trim anymore. So here is the adhesive of a promoter. I am going to
And then I'm gonna start pressing on it. So that way it adheres directly to the lip. You see how there's no give? If you see underneath here that you don't cover your bolts where your lip is, so that's why I trimmed this part here. Uh, the rest, you can see that I curved it so it can adhere closest to the lip. So here I am installing the skid plate on the other side, and I'm just kind of peeling as I go. Um, when I peeled the whole thing, it kind of stuck on other places that I didn't want it to. So this is going to give me more control here. Last but not least, make sure you press it so that way it adheres to the lip and you don't have any give. Thank you.